Good morning, everyone. We have the T-Wolves hosting the Jazz, and the T-Wolves are two-point favorites. The over-under is at 234.5. The Jazz are plus 115 on the money line. The T-Wolves are minus 135. The T-Wolves are on a two-game winning streak. The Jazz lost the last game that they played. Now, head-to-head, -head, the road team is on a two-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4 and four in their last 10. The underdog is 6-3-1 and one against the spread, and the favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. These teams are five and five against each other in their last 10. The over is six and four in their last 10, and the under 234 and a half specifically is six and four in their last 10 meetings against each other. Now, before you bet any money on this game, go to Twitter, go to Underdog NBA, and see what players are actually playing because this little screenshot here quite often is wrong. I just use it mostly for the over unders and the point spread. But that's food for thought. Now, also go to Vegas Insider so you can get the most advantageous line for yourself. The Jazz are 25 and 21 against the spread. The over is 26 and 20 in the games in which they played in, and they are 8 and 16 on the road this year. The T Wolves are 19 and 25 against the spread. The under is 23 and 21 in the games in which they played in. And they are better at home than they are on the road. They are 14 and 9. The last game that they played, Minnesota won 118 to 108 in Utah. The game before that, the Jazz won 132 to 126 in overtime in Minnesota. The game before that, the T Wolves won 126 to 106 at home. The game before that, the Jazz won 120 to 108 at home. The game before that, the Jazz won 128 to 116 at home. My biggest concern in this game is if Markin in plays. If Markin in plays, I'm fairly confident the Jazz win. If he doesn't play, then you might want to take the T-Wolves. The same thing, uh, Olnick is out. There's quite a few players who are out in this game. Now, the last game, the last handful of games that these teams have played, the Jazz have had a combined 235, 220, 230, and 231 in those games. The T-Wolves have had 212, 237, 253 and 200 points. So really it's a tale of what players are actually going to be on the court in this game. I'm going to take, I'm going to go Utah with the money line. I'm going to take Utah getting the points and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.